homemade coconut milk. It is so easy and it's so much better than having like the boxed variety. You're not having the preservatives, the thickeners, the stabilizers, all those things that we really don't know how they affect our health or if it's good or if it's bad. So you're just getting the pure stuff. You know everything that's going into it and it's on it's so easy so i'm gonna be sharing with you guys exactly how to make coconut milk step by step today in today's video if you don't know who i am my name's autumn and i'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's in nutrition and human performance i'm also the creator of the complete intermittent fasting bundle where it goes over everything you need to know on how to incorporate intermittent fasting properly but let's get into it like i said this is going to be very simple so this is probably gonna be a short video but first things first we need to start off with the one and only ingredient and that is unsweetened coconut flakes so something i really like like about making coconut milk over almond milk is how easy it is to make coconut milk. With almond milk, if you've never made it before, you have to soak it for like 24 hours or overnight and then you blend it and then you strain it and you really have to think ahead about making it. With coconut milk, you really just need about seven minutes, <laughs> including cleanup and that's it? I always like to smell. It smells like coconut. So this is just organic coconut flakes, unsweetened. Unsweetened is key here because we just want pure stuff, right? So you can see that it's the, not flakes, but the shreds. So they're a lot smaller and this makes sure that you get more of the coconut flakes for less. Okay, so I typically never measure anything, but if you are looking to measure it, especially your first couple times and you don't wanna eyeball it, you need about a cup and a half of the coconut flakes, the unsweetened coconut flakes, to four cups of warm water. So I have my blender here. If you have a high speed, high speed blender, like a Vitamix, I definitely recommend it. You'll see why in a second, but I'm just going to dump this in, that looks about good. I eyeball it, I never measure, like I mentioned, but I typically make a lot more of the coconut milk than just four cups when I do make it because four cups worth of coconut milk really is only about three smoothie, three to four smoothies in between myself and my boyfriend that just a couple days. So I'll make a couple batches of this. So about three cups worth of the coconut shreds to about eight cups of water. And you can see on the Vitamix, that's like the maximum it allows is the eight cups. So you have to be a little bit careful with this. First, you pour the coconut flakes into here. And remember how I said warm water, that's really important. You don't want hot water because then you're gonna burn your hands. So I had my warm-ish water, this is honestly probably a little too hot. But I'm gonna pour it carefully, usually in the sink, but I'm gonna do it for the YouTube. Okay, so carefully poured into the Vitamix, cap it, and now we're gonna throw it on the blender. So this is where it's really important that you have a, a blender that you can adjust the speed. So I always start off, now let me bring you closer. I always start off with a lower setting. So the lowest setting that's possible is where I'm gonna start off at. And that's so it doesn't splash everywhere, especially because it is warm water, you want to just reduce risk. Okay, let's turn this on. All right, so I just finished blending this. I usually blend this for about 30 to 60 seconds. <laughs> so my mom also makes this recipe and she swears by blending it for about two minutes. And to be honest, hers does usually come out a lot more thick for the coconut milk. So if you're looking for more of a thick coconut milk, then you wanna blend it for longer. But I am a little impatient sometimes, so I'll just do about 30 to 60 seconds and it still gets the job done. So this is a nut milk bag, funny name, I know, but it's what you're going to use in order to strain out the coconut flakes. What I do, I'm gonna show you here. This is the jar, make sure you get a big jar and I just emptied this out, so there's still a little bit remnant of the previous batch of coconut milk. You're going to hold the nut milk bag inside of the nut milk jar, lining the inside and you want to allow for at least, you know, a couple inches down so that don't drop it. <laughs> what we're going to do is make sure you're holding down the nut milk bag on your actual jar that you're pouring it into. Make sure the jar is big enough for what you're doing. So you can see here, and I'm just going to pour it in. Okay, have it all out. As you can see, this nut milk bag is still in here. So what I'm going to do is pull it out. And then this is where it's important to make sure that you're doing the steps so you get all of the coconut butter goodness that can come as a result. So you're going to not drop it again. You're going to squeeze it out. And this is why it's important that you don't get hot water. Because if you do this, you're going to burn your hands. So the more you can squeeze out the water, the more milk, obviously, that you're going to get out of it. And then this is just the left behind coconut flakes. And you can use this in your smoothies. You can still add it into your smoothies if you want, or you can toss it. You don't necessarily need to keep it if you don't want to, but it's still something that you can keep in your smoothies. I just recommend if you are going to use that, that you keep it in the fridge since it has been exposed to water from the coconut milk. And this is the final product. 
So I use this for all of my smoothies. I prefer using the homemade coconut milk because I know exactly what's going into it. Once this is cooled and if you keep it in the fridge, if you strained it well enough, you actually get a top layer that you can break off and it's like a thing of coconut butter. So you can use that in place of coconut butter as well. It's like a double whammy. Hey guys, if you're looking for a recipe to use this with, recommend that you check out this video next on how to make one of my most favorite smoothie recipes. Also, if you love this science-backed information on how you can feel your best, make sure you subscribe to my channel right here. I'm out with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. I'll have the whole recipe down below. I will see you in my next video. Let's go.